Hi children, today we are going to read Peppa's Royal Party from Peppa Pig collection of books. We are inviting you to Peppa's Royal Party. Peppa and her family were very excited when Mr. Zebra, the postman, arrived with a special letter. This is for you, Mommy Pig. It has a crown on it. I think it must be from the Queen. Mommy Pig opened the envelope very carefully. What does it say? It's an invitation, said Mommy Pig. The Queen is giving me an award for the book I wrote. She has invited us and our friends to her Platinum Jubilee Golden Party. Oh, goody! What's a Platinum Jubilee Party? It's a special party to celebrate the Queen having been Queen for 70 years. Wow! She must be nearly as old as you, Daddy. <laughs> Almost. Papa phoned her friends to invite them to the Queen's party. There will be lots of guests, Papa told Rebecca Rabbit. I'll ask my mommy to pack a giant picnic, said Rebecca. The queen has a big garden. We should take some games to play, said Peppa. Yippee, cried Susie. I'll do that. Hmm, what should I wear, asked Danny Dog. Your smartest clothes and pink boots for jumping in muddy puddles. Ready, Fox, I know just what to pack. The queen sent a big red bus to take everyone to the palace. Are you sure we need all these bags? Asked Daddy. We can't turn up to a royal party without bringing anything. That would be rude, said Mommy Big. Oh, oh, very true. We don't want to be rude, said Daddy Big. Peppa and her friends made up a song on their way to the palace. They sang it very loudly. It's the royal party today. Let's sing all the way. It's the royal party today. Let's sing all the way. It's the royal party today. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> As the bus got closer to the palace, there were lots of people setting up their own garden parties for the Queen's Jubilee. Peppa and her friends tried to do special little royal waves. Lots of people are celebrating with the Queen today, said Teddy Baker. When they arrived at the palace, everyone was very excited. I think there will be a giant chocolate fountain, whispered Susie. Seventy giant chocolate fountains, said Freddy. I think she will have an enormous gold cake, whispered Peppa. Seventy enormous gold cakes. Said Freddy. Huh. The doors were open. They were led out to the palace gardens. They were surprised to see 
No food, no dreams, no games. Who? Hello there, said the queen. Thank you for coming. I'm afraid we have a slight hiccup. Sorry to hear you, Majesty. You have hiccups, said Peppa. No, I'm quite all right. It's my party planner. He got the date marshaled up. He thought the Platinum Jubilee was tomorrow. So we can't have my party today. Everyone gasped. Oh no! But you must have your party, Majesty, said Peppa. Must I? Yes, the whole country is waiting to celebrate with you. I'm not sure I can. I don't have any party things. We have bought some with us. What do you need? asked Peppa. That's very kind, but we will need an awful lot food for all the guests. My mommy sent this picnic for everyone, said Rebecca. Unpacking a giant picnic with plates of cake, sandwiches and jellies. My dad packed me these teapots and chairs, said Freddy. They are made of real fake gold. This picnic looks wonderful, said the queen. But what we will do other than eat and drink? I don't have any games. I have these, Majesty, said Susie, who had three big boxes of garden games. Will they be walking? What a fun! They will do quite nicely. Peppa and her friends pulled out balloons, bunting and even a music box from their bags. Soon the garden was transformed into a royal party fit for a queen. How extraordinary! You have brought everything one needs for a royal party. You could say we pulled it out of the bag, ma'am, said Daddy Pig. When the other guests started to arrive, they were very impressed. It looks wonderful. This is the best jubilee ever. Yeah. The queen presented Mommy Pig with her award. Then everyone tucked into the picnic. But as they finished eating, Peter put the raincoats. Oh no! I believe Ed, it's raining. What shall I do? Don't worry, said Peppa. I have got an idea. Papa whipped out a pair of boots with a crown on them. And then pointed at a muddy puddle. I bought a spare pair of boots for you, your majesty. How delightful, Papa, said the queen. I dare say a royal party is not a royal party without some muddy puddle jumping. Three cheers for the queen and Peppa. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. That evening everyone sat down to watch the queen make a speech. I would like to thank Peppa Pig, said the queen. Without her help, my platinum jubilee would not have gone ahead. I am giving her the Queen's Award for Royal Party Planning. One does love a royal party, said Mommy Pig. Yeah, everyone loves a royal party. Papa has received a very special letter, an invitation to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Garden Party. But when Papa and her friends arrived, there has been a royal hiccup. Can party planning Peppa save the day? Yes, she did it, isn't it? The end.